You may have heard AI-generated songs like this. Check the rhythm, check the volume, the beat is bumping. But what if you could remove the vocals and even change the melody so you can sample it and use it in one of your songs. It's easy to use, you don't need much of a technical experience and they have a free trial. Because I partnered with Ripex DAW in this video, I was able to go through the software for the first time showing you my initial reactions. And by the end of it, we uncovered all the features that it has so you can remix AI generated songs. First, let's go to hitandmix.com. This is where you can download Rip X DAW. One of the coolest parts is that it's completely free for 21 days with unlimited possibilities. So you can test it completely. So I'm just gonna try it for free, enter my email, then you get an email trial code and a download link. It was about 1.4 gigabytes. So it took about 30 minutes to download. And then we're on the inside. As you can see, there are a couple of icons in the middle. And the first thing they actually want you to do is to upload AI music. So what happens if you click on this, you actually go to their favorite AI music generators like Stable Audio and Google Music FX. But my favorite AI generator is called Suno.ai. If you haven't checked this out before, your mind is going to be blown. So let's just make a song. We end up on the trending songs where the number one, Mistletoe and Missing You, has 500,000 listens. And if we listen to it, Another year is coming gone, and I'm not where I long to be. Snowfall on the city streets, but it ain't Christmas to me. My loved ones gathered around, but there's an empty space nearby. I'm a thousand miles away, and I'm not by their side. I'm away from home for the outside. Missing heaps of snow and grandma's cherry pie I'm away from home for As you can hear, extremely capable And every day you can generate 10 songs for free All you need to do is just write a song description I'm gonna prompt it a hip hop boom bap beat with fast rap And here is the result Check the mid, I'm check the vaughn, the beat is bumping Boom bap banging, yeah, we keep it jumping Fast and furious, the flow so slick Spin rhymes quick like a magic trick Boom boom boom, let the beat drop I'm on the mic, I won't stop Work play flying like a rocket in the sky Fast rap and bring it, he no need to ask why Boom bap, boom bap, the beat so fat Boom bap, boom bap, it hits you like a smell Boom bap, boom bap, the rhythm don't quit Boom bap, boom I don't know about you, but I really like this beat. So we're just gonna click on the three buttons here and then download audio. I'm also gonna download some other songs for examples later on. Then I'm gonna pull it into Rip X DAW so we can edit the AI song. This is the box that comes up that is saying, for quickest results, only select what you need. Voice, bass, other sounds and instruments, drums and percussion. They also have separate guitar and piano and also save stems only. So I'm gonna take this one off and I don't really care about separating guitar and piano and I'll click on rip. You can see in the top left here that it takes about a minute and there's two main things to check out. That is the layers in the bottom left where you can actually toggle off, like mute the voice, just mute the guitar and just mute everything except the drums. And now this is what it sounds like. That's so clean. I'm genuinely impressed. Let's try to just get the guitar in. And now it sounds like this. Yeah, I'm just seeing somebody sampling this. Let's put the bass and cello on as well. that it actually removed all the vocals so well is insane. Let's just put the vocals on and see how prominent it actually is in the mix. Look at this. Check the rhythm, check the vaughn, the beat is bumping. Boom, 
Now nah, let's try to play yeah. around. We keep it jumping, fast and furious. The flow so slick, spit bombs quick like a magic trick. Boom, boy, boom, let the beat drop. <laughs> I'm on the mic, I won't stop or play flying like a rocket in the sky. Fast rap and bring it, he no need to ask why. Boom, bap, boom, bap, the beat so fat. Boom, bap, boom, bap, it hits you like a. And it's completely gone. Jesus Christ. Let's check if it's actually good at removing just the drums. So let's mute the drums. Now it's like this. Check the rhythm, check the bomb. The beat is bumping. Boom, bap, bang it. I'll mute the voice as well. Okay, percussion is trying to be in there. Let's remove the percussion as well. Jesus Christ. How are they able to separate them that well? And if you really want to mix, you can even put the voice down, the guitar up in the volume section here so you don't have to remove it completely. But this is not even its coolest feature. You can now change the melody. So if I click on the voice tab here, you can see all of these different notes that he's singing and you can see exactly that I'm just dragging it around now. For example, this note, you can hear it if I drag it up and now I drag it up again. Oops. <laughs> you can even select many of them. Then you can drag them all up. Let's drag them one octave over. So I see right there. Maybe not. Listen now. Yeah, put it one octave down. If we go into the guitar section and listen from the beginning. So you can make a different chord, even remove a note if you don't like it. So there's so many small artifacts here that you could just remove to make it a lot cleaner. And now it sounds like this. I want to play more with this. So let's find a little bit of a cleaner song. Let's go to the explore page and check out this song maybe. Nope, this one. Nope. What about this? Well, pack up your guitar. Leave it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think we just gotta do it. Town, gonna hit you right on the rocket. Won't be coming back around. We're heading to the skies. To Yuki Fuda Nunachino. So I'm gonna pull that one in and this time let's separate the guitar and piano and rip again. Here's how it looks like. Now I think the best way to illustrate this is definitely the bass. Look how clean it is. So if you want to change it, we could do something like this. And now it sounds like this. We can also go to the right side and add some of these things like level, reverb, flatten pitch, vibrate, vibrato, harmony, and chorus. Let's actually test that on this high note here. If we add the harmony, it actually adds some different notes here. So it has, let's try to add the vibrato on it as well. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, definitely more than enough. I don't like the harmony, so let's get that away. And let's get the drums in, I think. Damn, Milan, this one is a little hard for you to edit. Um, my apologies. And now when we play it back with all the sounds. Well, <laughs> it's like we took that string and bent it. And let's play with it again. Gonna hit Let's you right solo on the, the voice. Be coming back around. Like that. Be coming back around. <laughs> you can just harmonize like that. To the skies, to a place so far. So say you want this far. one, you put a little harmony on it. Far. And it seems like it figures out far. the correct note far. that it should play. So you can actually add more if I just continue clicking. And now it sounds like this. To a place so far. 
where the, Jeez. the banjo strums and the fiddle plays among Now let's mute the voice. They did it. Now, what if you don't like banjo? Well, you can actually change every single sound here. So if I click on guitar, it actually seems like it's under strings here instead. Now, all you need to do is go to the sound panel here and let's say we want it to be an alto sax instead. I'm just gonna put that at 100% and now it sounds like this. <laughs> Maybe not exactly what we want. Let's try to put piano instead and now it sounds like this. Definitely takes a bit of cleaning up. Let's, for example, take the bass, make it a little simpler. Let's turn the piano up to 100, and now it sounds like this. I love this. We can also put the reverb to 100%, and now it sounds like this. And you can obviously flatten pitch here. And what that actually does is puts the pitch at the kind of correct place, maybe. At least it makes it easier. So it sounds like this. We can easily clean it up. We now turn the bass into a piano and we're only scratching the surface. There's only one more test that I haven't done and that's the drums. So this is the other song that we did. Just listen again. Here's how it sounds like. Check the rhythm, check the wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I need to... Okay, wait, now we go again. Okay, let's go. Here's how it sounds like. Check the rhythm, check the volume. The beat is broken. So I'm actually gonna select multiple tracks here and you get all the drums here. Listen. So this is a snare here. Can I copy and paste it? I can. That's crazy. I can also elongate it. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try to change the kick. So now it sounds like this. But let's try to change it to a regular 404. Like completely on center or actually just delete some of them. Yeah, let's just delete a bunch. And now it sounds like this. So you can edit everything. I can see producers starting to use this one a lot. It does it all. Almost perfect layer separation. Some of the best I ever heard. Specifically, just removing the voice, you almost can't hear any artifacts that you can edit an AI song after AI has generated it, I think is also such a fascinating idea. Cause as you've seen with Suno, AI music is getting really good. So I can see a lot of people using RipX DAW to manipulate the sound even further, but What's the price? You can see here that you get a 21 day free trial and then you have Rip X DAW and Rip X DAW Pro. The first option at $100, the second option at $200. But what is the difference? In the first option, you get the award winning six plus stem AI separation, edit stems, note by notes, even AI generated music, unparalleled remixing capability, instrument replacement. And in the pro version, you get everything in Rip X DAW plus enhanced stem cleanup top tier auto repair and effects and audio shop advanced creative tools. So if you're trying to become like an AI song remixer, or you're just trying to sample AI, for example, take away the lyrics from Zuno and then sample some of those beats or melodies, I think a hundred and even $200 is a fair price for this. You saw how well it worked. So click my link in the description down below to go to this website and try it for free. I want to test it more in some other videos. And if you want to see that, Subscribe to the channel. I right, see you in the next video.